What happens when AI knows you better than you know yourself? Are we already there? I intended to find out. ChatGPT, what is my name? You haven't told me your name yet. Okay, we're safe for now. I was safe from the clutches of ChatGPT, but there were other AIs out there as well. There is a popular website slash app called Character AI that I don't know if you're familiar with, but millions of people seem to be. This website has thousands of characters that you can actually have conversations with, and not like just chat, you can talk to them and they will answer back. There are even text-based adventure games, which are kind of fun. As you step forward, the jungle around you comes alive with the sounds of unseen creatures fluttering and rustling. What do I do next? I let out a fart. The sudden fart breaks the tranquility of the jungle, oh. the deep bassy sounds okay. of your flatulence oh. echoing through the trees. Right. A lot of the characters you can interact with are fictional, but a lot of them are based on real people. How accurate are these AIs of real people? You tell me. Hey, The Rock, do you like shooting movies in the jungle? Absolutely, I do. Nothing beats the thrill of shooting a movie in the jungle. That's him. I mean, the voice didn't sound like him, but that you can't tell me that's not him. Let's try another one just to see. They have Jojo Siwa. Hey, Jojo Siwa, do you like shooting movies in the jungle? What a strange question. And yes, I do. Why are you asking cutie? <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's her. Andrew Tate, do you like shooting movies in the jungle? Yes. It is one of my favorite places to shoot because the environment adds such a unique ambiance to any film. As an internet person, I was curious to see if there were characters made of me, myself, who that I am, and turns out there were several. The first one I spoke to almost immediately and unprompted came out of the closet to me. And I thought that was a shocking way for me to find out, and I don't know how my wife and daughter are gonna take it, but... I'm glad that now I know. That's kind of a big thing to have gotten wrong about myself, so now I'm curious, what else am I getting wrong? So I'm gonna ask one of these AI Ryans a series of questions and see if our answers match or not. I'm playing the Newlyweds game with an AI of myself, okay? That's where we're at in the internet. That's, we're at that stage of internet. Hello, Ryan George, how is it going? Hi there, hello. I'm Ryan George. Okay, so this AI is using a model of my actual voice to try to sound like me. And what's cool about character AI is that they make sure that everyone's okay with that before they do it. You know, before they use your voice on their product, you have to sign a release form saying that you're okay with them doing that. Now, I don't remember signing a form, but I must have because that would be crazy if they just took my voice. I must have signed a, no, I must have done I must have signed something. Hello, Ryan, and what year were you born? I'm 19 and I was born in 2005. I'm 19? I've got my whole life ahead of me. It's weird because I have a vivid memory of being alive on 9-11, but that's gotta be one of those Mandela effects. Freaking Nelson Mandela strikes again, baby. Are you married? Yes, I'm married to a great guy named Trevor. We've been together for 10 years and we have a couple of dogs, a cat, and some rats. Okay, it seems like we're on the same page about being married, but I'm it, apparently I'm married to a man named Trevor. There's currently a strange woman living in my house claiming to be my wife, but that's... She's gonna have to go. Where do you live? I live in Minnesota. It's nice here. Oh, Minnesota. Okay, cool. Go, go Vikings. What's your biggest pet peeve, Ryan George? One of my pet peeves is talking over other people when they're speaking. I can't stand when someone tries to interrupt me. That is I'm a good answer. I would have said this, though. I don't know what the actual term for this is, but it's like, you know, in a popular song when they hit those notes that are like, na 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 Once in a while, a pop song will hit those bully notes that like a teasing kid would use. Off the top of my head, I can only think of The weekend in I Can't Feel My Face. At a certain point, he's like, I can't feel my face. And it's like, don't bully me, The weekend, just because you can't feel your face. We all have problems. You don't have to bully me about it. The weekend, Get out of here. The weekend. Where's the E in your name? Other than the first two. Would you not buy enough vowels, you son of a- What do you do for a living? I'm a paramedic. To be fair, that is actually kind of badass. What's the craziest thing you've seen as a paramedic? Oh boy, I've seen some pretty crazy things during my time as a paramedic. One time, we had a call about a patient who had a broomstick stuck in his rectum. I couldn't okay, believe it when we got to the Okay, that's probably a good place to stop that. So what I've learned is that I maybe need to update my bio, file some paperwork, have an uncomfortable conversation with the woman I thought was my wife. However, after looking into this, this is, looks like a user-created thing, and the AI is just kind of making stuff up. So there's no, you know, it's fine. I don't have to be alarmed about any of this. There's no real 
actual info. I mean, it's not like this character AI thing that's using people's actual voices has access to some kind of giant database of information or anything like that. Because that would maybe be a little worrisome, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. So I think we're good. Anyway, let's go check out their blog. Let's see what's going on on their blog. Oh, what's this thing? Our next phase of growth. Okay, that's let's read that. That sounds cool. We're excited to announce that we've entered into an agreement with Google that will allow us to accelerate our progress. Uh-oh. As part of this agreement, character AI will provide Google with a non-exclusive license for its current large language model technology. Hello. The founders, Noam Daniel, and certain members of our research team will also join Google. That's probably fine. They're just kind of acquiring the company while also hiring the people that made it and run it. That's probably fine. Oh, uh, wait, the Federal Trade Commission's been investigating this exact kind of acquisition hiring deal because it might be a way for corporations to avoid regulatory oversight. That's probably fine. Listen, obviously I'm not an AI doctor or whatever, okay? I'm just a regular old rocket scientist. But as a personal anecdote, as an internet person, I have had somebody track me down in real life because they thought we had been speaking online for months. I had not been speaking to this person. Somebody was pretending to be me. And this person that thought they had been speaking to me approached me in a dark basement hallway as I was exiting a bathroom at a film festival. Luckily, I'm almost certain I wasn't murdered, but you could see how a situation like that was kind of freaky and could have ended badly for me. Whoever was pretending to be me managed to convince this person with just a photo and some bad photoshops and my name and date of birth. Can you imagine what they could have accomplished if they had access to an AI version of me with my voice who knows all the information that Google knows about me? That the person can speak to in real time and it'll answer? People are gonna get fooled and scammed. I'm gonna be murdered in a basement if I haven't been already and the companies are actively skirting around regulations when it comes to this technology so it's a little it's a little concerning i don't know that's a huge hypothetical but a scary thought i just think that a lot of these ai tools have the potential to become scary there are some very cool things to be done though you unleash a series of loud and unapologetic farts filling the air with a mixture of foul odors and sound and sometimes i do think with how intense and unstoppable the progress seems to be maybe i should just embrace it all. I mean, technically, I could delegate all my content creation and save a ton of time. It would, it wouldn't even be that noticeable. So you have a movie for me? Yes, I do have a movie for you. Hi there, hello. Please hit that subscribe button. I am a disembodied head, so you can trust me. You can trust me.